Over. Good girl. Over. Super. Over. Good girl. Over. Very nice. Here. So it's it, it, it was the same way. It was the same way with uh, back. This is awesome. Who doesn't love obedient dogs? This is Peter Kane, dog trainer. I'm not really sure how I ended up on his channel, but I'm so glad I did. And I mean, who watching now just hasn't instantly fallen in love with Luna? She's the perfect pooch. She's doing exactly what she's told. I'm gonna to have a look and see what else Peter Kane's got on his channel. Mm, graphic content. I hope this isn't going to be another one of those videos where somebody's being mean to a dog. There's too much of that online at the minute. I'm Peter Kane. I'm president of the Bigfoot community and president of the Bigfoot Association. This is this is totally real. It has it has flies. It has like those. Excuse me. Well, if it's got flies, I'm sold. It's obviously real. <laughs> Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Creaky Weekly. I'm the Creaky Blinder, obviously. And I stumbled across Peter Kane's channel. I was literally just browsing YouTube and one of his videos came up in my suggested. And I wasn't too sure at first why the dog training video came up in my suggested. And the video of him training little Luna was the, 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 the video that was suggested. And I was perplexed. So I thought I'll have a little look through this guy's channel because I, I like dogs. And yeah. Let's just have a look. Bees on it? Like I don't know, like there's a fly on it. There's there's flies on it. If if it wasn't real, there would not there would be no flies on it. There's a fly on it. See, that's a fly. And for anyone who's unsure. It's definitely real because there's there's a fly on it. L look, that th that's a fly. See, that's a fly. It's a fly. See, that's a fly. A fly. It's a fly. It's to it's totally real. Okay, Pete, calm down. We get it. It's a fly, so it's totally real. It's not just real. It's totally real. I have to hide the Bigfoot hand. I have to hide it because the government will come and take it. Well, absolutely, Pete, and I couldn't agree more. If I had such a magnificent specimen, I would want to hide it as well. And the last thing I would do is put it on my YouTube channel where people can see it. And you've used your real name. <laughs> nice job. So I, I have to hide it, and it, it is. It's, it's totally real. It's totally and completely real now i know exactly what you're all thinking creaky you're asking where on earth did peter kane obtain the hand of a bigfoot how did he come to possess such a thing well let's find out when my father shot the bigfoot in 1953 they had to cut him up to get them out of the swamp they were too big so they started cutting them up this is one of the body parts. It's a hand from a, a young Bigfoot. And I want to be perfectly clear, this is a science documentary. And if you have a squeamish stomach, you might want to turn the camera off right now. I can't, I can't look. I can't, I can't. Is it, is it gone? Is it gone? And this is a Bigfoot hand, but it, it has some properties, the Bigfoot does, that other animals on this planet do not. And I'm talking in regards to the hands and feet. So this is this is a hand of a of a young juvenile Bigfoot. It's been frozen. I took it out of the freezer. You can see the hand clearly. Yeah, I I can see the hand clearly, Pete. totally real. I'm president of the Bigfoot community because I wouldn't lie to you. Wait, hang on a second. So you were made the president of the Bigfoot 
whatever, because you wouldn't lie to me? I feel really special now. Thanks, Pete. This is real. These are real, and I, I, I do think that they are alien in origin. Wait, hang on a second. <laughs> so you think that... Wh what? <laughs> so you think the Bigfoot are aliens? I thought you just said you wouldn't lie to me, Pete. I feel hurt. I feel, I feel so betrayed. Pete. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you why it do, it doesn't make any sense to me. And when my father talked about this, it didn't make any sense. So w watch this. This is a demonstration. Like I said, this is a science documentary. Now for this demonstration, I have a a shovel. This is just a normal shovel, right? And I have the Bigfoot hand. Watch watch this. Whoa. Well, Pete, I'm not going to lie to you. That's pretty amazing. What, what's going on? Magnetic hands? It's magnetic. <laughs> magnetic hands? Well, I'm not so easily impressed. Pete. <laughs> and so are its, its feet. But in, in general, the whole body is magnetic, but nothing like the hands and feet. Are, are very magnetic. Now I know exactly what you're thinking. This is weird AF. Because this is a family friendly channel and I don't swear. Now, let's assume for a second that old Petey Boy is right and Bigfoot is magnetic. Now I have seen many, many, many videos on YouTube where people claim to have shot Bigfoot feet, Bigfoot, and wouldn't them being magnetized draw the metal cased bullets directly towards them? Or am I wrong again? And I'm fairly sure that you'll all take great pleasure in telling me I'm wrong, if I am, down in the comment section. But in my defence, I'm from the UK. We don't have guns in the UK. Well, none legally anyway. So we're seven minutes into this video, or seven minutes and 39 seconds actually, unless that changes while I'm editing, of course. And you're probably thinking, damn, this Peter Kane guy is really strange. Now I can't work out whether or not he's clinically insane, <laughs> or whether he is the best satire channel I have ever witnessed in my life but I've done a little bit more digging and I came across this as soon as she got my pants off me she started like jerking the ween that's disgusting nobody wants to hear about the time you and your girlfriend sneaked into the woods to have a little bit of adult fun this is where it happened back here in this dry creek bed family friendly remember I was back here looking, I thought one of my dogs was back here, and I, I was like, how did the dog get out of the yard? I saw a bunch of, you know, movement, and, I, and then I got back in, and well, maybe it's a deer, and then I was, I was worried about my dogs, because there's a lot of Bigfoot and Sasquatch in this area, I, I didn't have a gun with me, and so I, I got back here, and that's when I saw the female Sasquatch. Wait, what? <laughs> Now, just in case any of you were wondering. <laughs> the title of this video <laughs> is Female Bigfoot Force Me to Have Sex. Jerk in the wing. She tore out of the bushes, knocked me down on the ground, and I, I thought she was going to kill me. You know, I'm like, I'm like grabbing for a gun and then I realized that I didn't bring a gun with me. I didn't have a dog with me. I was back here by myself. I was terrified. I, I, I was actually, I was so terrified. It was so scary. But didn't he say not but five minutes ago that he was, that he was back there looking for his dog. And now suddenly he didn't have a dog with him. Was he maybe trying to hook up with a Bigfoot? Jerk in the wing. 
And I wouldn't be back here right now, except I, I feel the need to like get over my fear and, and what happened. And what happened was as soon as I was knocked down on the ground, she starts ripping my clothes off me. She did. She pulled my pants off me, and I'm like, oh, great. What, what, she's going to kill me. They're going to find my naked body here. It's worse. It's worse. As soon as she got my pants off me, she started, like, jerking the ween. And I'm like, whoa, you know, that's not going to work. Pete, I feel you. She sounds like a bitch. But she didn't ask your name. Didn't ask you if you wanted to go out for something to eat. Maybe a few drinks first. She didn't even warm up to it. She just started jerking the ween. We've got a name for girls like that in Wales. We call them sloofs. <laughs> you know, what are you doing? And then the next thing I know, keep in mind, this is a big Sasquatch, like a comparable to like a big hairy Russian, Russian woman. I mean, she was big. She was like, you know, seven and a half, eight feet tall and hairy. No, that's a little bit unfair on Russian women. <laughs> Mrs. Blinder's hairdresser is Russian, and she's a lovely lady. She's nowhere near seven or eight feet tall, and she's not that hairy either. <laughs> and so I'm down there on the ground, I'm completely naked, my clothes have been ripped off me, and she starts giving me a knobber. Whoa, right, that's enough of that. <laughs> now, I thought when I first saw your channel you were a bit of a strange guy, <laughs> but if a Sasquatch lady ripping your clothes off gives you a boner you're a bit more strange than i first thought it was it was all just biological i didn't have any choice and the next thing you know you know i blew my load i blew my load in the sasquatch well pete if that's what it takes to become the president of the Bigfoot Association, then I salute you, sir. But I think if I ever join up, if that's part of the initiation process, I'd probably give it a miss. I, I swear to God, I swear to God. Then she hightails it into the woods this way. Now, I didn't know what to do at this point. I'm like, what do I do? I've been raped by a Bigfoot. Do I call the police? What do I do? I, I still don't know what to do. I mean, she could she could be pregnant with my child. What do you mean it's weird? Of course it's not weird. It happens all the time. Especially in Wales. It's rife. It's in the evening paper at least once a week. Man. <laughs> sexually assaulted by a Sasquatch or a Russian woman, whichever takes your fancy. Now, Pete, in closing, can I ask you to summarize the whole experience? It sucks. It sucks, man. I, fe I, fe I felt like I couldn't get fucking clean. I got home and I started taking a bath and I just, I just fucking feel like I can't get fucking clean. And there we have it, uh, gentlemen. It sucks. He felt like he couldn't get clean. So, the next time you're walking your dog in the woods and you hear a rustling in the bushes, just please stay safe. And remember, no <laughs> means no. Even if it's a Bigfoot. <laughs> and I'm not making light of assault. <laughs> but come on, really. This channel has got to be satire, and if it's not, then this man really needs some help. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If it's your first time here, don't forget to give the video a like, click the subscribe button, and turn on bell notifications. Thank you, as always, to all my Patreons. Your names will be down in the video description. Um, I'm the Creaky Blinder, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.